Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today we are going to see the first game of a homestand. The Cubs are going to play four games at home against Milwaukee and three home games against Tampa Bay. So a total of seven. This is the first of four with the Brewers. The Cubs come into this game two games under 500 at 41 and 43. And today's starting pitchers are going to be Alec Mills for the Cubs, making appearance number 15. He is 2 and 1, 3.99 ERA, 0.99 whip. Facing off with Freddy Peralta, making start number 17. He is 3 and 6 with a 5.35 ERA, 166 whip. Cubs are going to send Nico Horner, Santana, Bryant, Ozuna, Contreras, Bradley Bogarts, Mills batting 8th, and Hayward batting 9th out as a lineup. The Brewers, in comparison, are going to have a lineup of Keon Broxton, Luis Urias, Yelich, Morrison, Avisel Garcia, Sogard, Pina, Florimon, and Peralta batting ninth. It is 70 degrees today in Chicago, wind blowing in from right field at 9 miles an hour off the lake. And let's get today's game underway. Alec Mills on the bound, facing the Brewers leadoff hitter, Keon Broxton. The Cubs entering this game at 41 and 43, facing the Brewers, who are 34 and 47 and dead last in the National League Central. The Cubs have taken five of nine so far from the Brewers this season. Alec Mills standing on the mound with a 1-1 count, looking for the sign, and here's the pitch. And that is popped up to left. Broxton pops it up to Ozuna, and that is chased down for out number one. Urias now batting. Mills with a full count, one out pitch. And that is low and away for ball four. Mills issues the walk with a fastball, and now Yelich is the batter. One out, one man on, one ball count. Yelich knocks that one into the gap in left center field. That's going to be extra bases. The runner rounds second, and he stops at third as Yelich cruises into second with a double. Urias stops at third as the throw came back in quickly from the outfield. And now Logan Morrison is going to bat with second and third and one out in the top of the first inning. Three and one count. And Morrison takes that one up and in for ball four. He draws a walk and heads down to first. That'll bring up Garcia. With the bases loaded, Mills in a jam here in the top of the first inning. One out and a one strike count. There's a grounder to third. Bryant has it. The throw goes to first and the run scores on the fielder's choice. Yelich advances to third, Morrison to second. Garcia is out at first. That's the second out of the inning. And now Sogard is going to bat. Milwaukee has now taken a 1-0 lead. Sogard with a one ball count waiting for the pitch. And that's going to be a base hit down the left field line. One run is in. The second run comes home. The throw comes home. He slides. He is safe. And that is a two-run single for Eric Sogard. The Brewers are now up 3-0. Manny Pena now the batter. The Brewers catcher comes up with two outs, one man on, three runs in this inning. One ball count, and the runner goes. Contreras throws down to second, and the throw is in time. The Brewers are retired. Contreras throwing out base runner number seven this season on 38 attempts. Milwaukee does score three. We go to the bottom of the first of a 3 nothing deficit. Nico Horner leading off for the Cubs in the bottom of the first. He's going to come up to face Peralta with a one-strike count. And here's the pitch from Peralta. Grounder to second. The throw goes to first. And that is out number one in the Cubs' half of the first inning. Danny Santana now the batter. Two-strike count from Peralta. Strike three called. And Santana's headed back to the dugout. Bryant now batting with two outs and nobody on. One ball count to Chris Bryant. And that's a liner past the third baseman into left field. That'll be a two-out single for Chris Bryant. Bringing up Marcelo Zuna. Two outs, one man on. 
Cubs down by three. 2-2 two -two count to Ozuna. And Ozuna pops it up to left. It's deep, but playable. To the warning track. And Yelich makes the catch for out number three. So the Cubs get a runner, but he is stranded. We go to the top of the second. It is 3-0 Milwaukee. Mills coming out to work against Pena here in the top of the second. First pitch from Mills. And that's lofted in the left. That's going to be right at Ozuna for the first out of the inning. Pedro Florimont now the batter with one out, nobody on. One ball count. Mills facing, and there's a ground ball up the middle. Horner has it, throws to first, and that is out number two. Horner made a nice defensive play going away from first base to turn and throw and nail the runner. Peralta now batting, two outs, nobody on. 2-2 two -two count from Mills. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. The ball gets away, but Contreras recovers quickly and fires down to first for out number three. Well, we go to the bottom of the third, bottom of the second inning. It is 3-0 Milwaukee. Contreras leading off for the Cubs against Peralta. First pitch to Contreras. Popped up to right center. That's into the wind. It's going to be playable, and it is going to be caught on the warning track as Broxton makes the catch for out number one. Bradley now batting. One out. Nobody on base. 1-1 one, one count from Peralta. Here's the pitch. Popped up behind second base. That is going to be playable. It's going to be caught by Urias for out number two. Bogarts now batting. Coming up with two outs. Nobody on. 2-2 two, two count for Bogarts. And a swing and a miss on a slider for strike three. That one dove out of the zone and Bogarts chased it. We go to the top of the third. It is 3-0 Milwaukee. Keon Broxton leading off for the Brewers against Alec Mills. Top of the third. One ball count. Broxton waiting for the pitch. That's lined down the left field line. That'll be extra bases for Keon Broxton as Ozuna chases it down into the corner. The throw comes back into the cutoff, man. And Broxton has a leadoff double in the Brewers' half of the third. Urias now batting. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. First pitch from Mills. Popped up to center. Bradley shading over toward left a couple steps. Makes the play for out number one. The runner, Broxton, is not able to tag up in advance. And now Yelich is the batter with one out, one man on. Mills trying to limit the damage here in the top of the third. One strike count. And that's a line drive base hit for Yelich into left field. Broxton rounds third. He is headed home. The throw comes home, and Broxton is safe. That is a 4-0 lead for Milwaukee. Christian Yelich has a RBI single, and now Logan Morrison is going to be the batter. Morrison drew a walk his first time up. He comes up now with one out, one man on, one ball count. And he hits a grounder to second. Corner to Bogarts. To Santana to end the inning. Ground ball double play, 4-6-3. We go to the bottom of the third. It is 4-0 Brewers. Alec Mills leading off, batting for himself here in the bottom of the third. Facing Peralta. 2-2 two -two count. Mills swings and misses at a fastball for strike three. That is strikeout number three for Freddie Peralta. And now Jason Hayward is the batter. He comes up with one out, nobody on. 1-1 one, one count to Hayward. And Hayward hits it sharply on the ground, but the second baseman, Urias, has it. Tosses to first for out number two. Nico Horner now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. Horner facing Peralta. First pitch. Grounder to second. The throw goes to first. And the Cubs are retired 1-2-3 in the bottom of the third. We go to the top of the fourth. It is 4-0 Brewers. Abisail Garcia leading off for the Brewers in the top of the fourth. Full count pitch, Mills working. Grounder to short, Bogarts has it. Over to Santana for out number one. That brings up Sogard with one out, nobody on. One ball count, Mills working. Sogard waiting for the pitch. That's a line drive down the left field line. That'll be extra bases for Eric Sogard. Ozuna chases down into the corner. The throw goes back into the cutoff, man, as, as uh, Sogard has a stand-up double with one out in the top of the fourth inning. 
Manny Pena now the batter. One out, one man on, one and two count. Swing and a miss, strike three. That ball was up and in, and Pena chased it. Fastball at 92 right there. Florimon now the batter with two outs and one man on. Two and one count from Mills. Ground ball up the middle. That gets by Horner into center field. The runner rounds third. He is heading home. The throw comes home, and the play is safe. The runner is safe at home on that play, and Florimon has an RBI single. And now the Brewers increase their lead. It is five to nothing. Peralta now batting. He's going to face Mills with two outs and one man on. One and two count. And there's a grounder back to the mound. Mills has it, throws to first to retire the side. The Brewers score once again. It is now 5-0 Milwaukee going into the bottom of the fourth. Santana leading off for the Cubs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. One strike count. Santana waiting for the pitch. Popped up to center. Broxton heads over to left center. And he makes the play on the warning track for out number one. Bryant now the batter, one out, nobody on. One and two count to Bryant, here's the pitch. And Bryant swings and misses for strike three. He chased a slider that dove down and away. No chance at catching that one. Ozuna now batting, two outs, nobody on. One, one count from Peralta. And he knocks one over the third baseman's head down the left field line. That's gonna be a base hit for Marcelo Ozuna. He makes a big wide turn, but he heads back to first for a single. And now Contreras is batting. Two outs, one man on. Contreras waiting for the one and two pitch. And he pops it up down the right field line. Long run, but the play is made. And that is out number three. So the Cubs strand a runner. We go to the top of the fifth. It is 5 nothing of Milwaukee. Pedro Strope is now coming in to pitch for the Cubs. He is going to face Keon Broxton to lead off in the Cubs half of the, excuse me, the Brewers half of the fifth. Strope, 26 innings this year, nine walks, 31 strikeouts, and a 381 ERA. He will face Broxton, Urias, and Yelich here in the top of the fifth inning. Full count pitch from Strope. Looking for the sign. And here's the pitch. Strike three called. He got him on the cutter. Nice pitch right there by Strope for strike three, and now that brings up Urias. With one out, nobody on. 2-2 two -two pitch from Strope. Grounder to short. Bogarts over to Santana. That is out number two. Strope induced the ground ball with that sinker, and now Yelich is the batter. Two outs, nobody on. One strike count from Strope. And that's going to be a line drive into center field for a base hit. Yelich will have a two-out single and bring up Logan Morrison. Two outs, one man on. First pitch from Stroke. That's another base hit. That one's into the gap in right center field. Yelich rounding second. He's heading for third. The throw is late coming back in. Yelich is going to come all the way around to score as Logan Morrison has an RBI triple. And the Brewers now lead six to nothing. Two out RBI triple for Logan Morrison, and now Aversale Garcia is the batter. 2-2 two -two count from Stroke, and a swing and a miss for strike three. Stroke got him to chase one out of the zone. But the Brewers score once again, and it is now 6-0 Milwaukee going to the bottom of the fifth. Jackie Bradley is going to lead off for the Cubs in the bottom of the fifth inning. Peralta, four strikeouts, no walks, two hits in four innings so far in this game. 2-2 two -two count. Peralta working. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is strikeout number five. And it brings up Xander Bogarts with one out, nobody on. 2-2 two -two count to Bogarts. Peralta with the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him on the changeup. That is strikeout number six on the day. And it brings up the pitcher, Stroke, who's going to be allowed to hit for himself with two outs and nobody on. Stroke. Makes contact, hits it weakly out to short. The throw goes to first, and Strope is retired for out number three. We go to the top of the sixth inning. It is 6 nothing Brewers. Sogard the batter facing Strope. He's coming out for his second inning of work. Sogard is two for two with two RBIs today. 2-2 two -two count. 
Strope with the pitch. Lined into left field, Ozuna plays it on a hop, and that's a leadoff single for Sogard. Pena now batting, and the new Cub reliever is going to be Casey Sattler. He comes in. He's thrown 34 and two-thirds of eight hit, 20 strikeout baseball with a 286 ERA. He is going to be charged with keeping the Brewers right here at a six-run game in the top of the sixth inning. Sadler inherits a runner at first, nobody out, and here's the first pitch. Sadler looking for the sign. There it comes. Popped up to center, Bradley coming in. Bogart's going out. Bradley calls him off and makes the catch in short center field. That is out number one. Sadler now facing Florimon. One out, one man on, one and two count. Popped up to center once again. Bradley, this time taking about two steps in, but making the catch for out number two. Peralta now the batter. Two outs, runner on first. Peralta waiting for the one ball pitch. And that's going to be a base hit. That's going in the gap in left center field. The runners are going to start circling the bases. The runner rounds third. He is heading home. The throw goes to third, and the runner is safe at third. Another run scores. The Brewers are now up 7 to nothing as Peralta gets an RBI triple off of Casey Sadler. And now Broxton is the batter with two outs and a runner on third. One and two counts, Sadler working. Popped up to left, Ozuna goes back. On the track, he makes the catch for out number three. The Brewers score for the fourth consecutive inning. The score is now seven nothing going into the bottom of the sixth. Jason Hayward is gonna lead off for the Cubs. He's gonna face Peralta in the bottom of the sixth inning of a 7-0 ball game. One ball count to Hayward. Popped up left side. Sogard has it. That is out number one. Nico Horner now the batter. With one out, nobody on. 2-2 two -two count to Horner. Here's the pitch. Weak grounder to first. The foot race to first is won by Logan Morrison, and Horner is retired for out number two. Danny Santana now the batter. With two outs, nobody on. Full count pitch to Danny Santana. Here it comes. That is low. It is ball four, and Santana accepts the walk. Bryant now batting. Two outs, one man on. Chris Bryant trying to help the Cubs cut into this Milwaukee lead. Here's a three and one pitch, and he knocks one into right field. That's going to be a base hit for Bryant. Santana stops at second. So now there's first and second, two outs. And Ozuna's the batter. The shift is on for Ozuna with three infielders on the left side. Two outs, first and second are the runners. 0-1 pitch. And Ozuna knocks that one into center field. Is that going to drop? No, that is caught for out number three. Broxton ranged over from left center to make that catch in right center and ends the inning. Urias is going to lead off for the Brewers here in the top of the seventh. Sadler facing Urias as Sadler is starting his second inning of work. Two and one count from Sadler. Here comes the pitch. That's a liner up the middle. A diving horner cannot make the play, and that gets into center field for a single. Sadler now facing Yelich with nobody out. Runner on first. 0 2 count. There's a grounder to short. The throw goes to second. But Horner can't make the relay, and the only out recorded is at second base. Yelich is safe at first on the fielder's choice. Logan Morrison now the batter with one out, one man on, and a one-strike count. And Morrison hits a grounder to second. Horner to Bogarts, and the relay to Santana, and that is the double play that ends the inning. 4-6-3, and we go to the bottom of the seventh of a 7-0 Brewers lead. And, because the Brewers are in town, the one and only Bob Euchre is going to lead the seventh inning stretch for us today. Wilson Contreras is the batter. He is going to come up in the bottom of the seventh inning, leading off for the Cubs against Freddy Peralta. Peralta, through six innings of work, 
three hits, no runs, one walk, and six strikeouts. One and two count from Peralta. Here's the pitch. That's lined over the third baseman's head into left field. Well, if the Cubs are going to come back, it's got to start somewhere, and maybe this single by Contreras can be the catalyst. Bradley now batting. Runner on first, nobody out. Bradley waiting for the 3-0 pitch. And he pops it up to left center. That's going to be playable. It'll be caught for out number one. Well, Bradley definitely bailed out Peralta on a 3-0 pitch right there. And now Bogarts is the batter with one out, one man on, one one count to Bogarts. And that's outside. That's actually a wild pitch. And the runner advances to second. So Contreras is in scoring position. Bogart's still batting with a two and one count. And here's the pitch from Peralta. There's a grounder to third. The throw goes to first after the runner has looked back, and that is out number two. So Bogarts is retired. Contreras is stuck on second, and now Sadler is the batter. Sadler's batting for himself in the bottom of the seventh inning. You know, for as aggressive as Kerry Wood has been at different times, Pinch hitting. I feel like this might have been a good situation. Two outs, runner on second, Cubs down 7 nothing, and here's a one-strike pitch to Sadler. There's a weak grounder to second. The throw goes to first, and that is the inning. The Cubs do not score. We go to the top of the eighth inning. It is 7 nothing, Milwaukee. Garcia is going to lead off for... The Brewers in the top of the eighth. He's going to face Casey Sadler, who's already thrown two innings in this game. Apparently, they decided that Casey Sadler gets to finish out this game, I suppose. 0-2 pitch from Sadler. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Abisail Garcia strikes out on the changeup. Strikeout number one on the day for Casey Sadler. And now Eric Sogard's the batter. One out. Nobody on. 0-2 pitch from Sadler to Sogard. And that's a line drive base hit up the middle. That one clears out into center field, and that is a one-out single for Eric Sogard. Manny Pena now the batter. One out, one man on. One ball count to Pena. Sadler looking in. Here's the pitch. Popped up behind first base. Santana goes back, and he makes the catch in short right field for out number two. Florimon now the batter. Two outs, one man on. And Sam Tuavelia is the new pitcher. Apparently, he got that pop-up off the bat of Pena from the last batter. And now he's going to face Florimon with two outs and a runner on first. One and two count from Sammy T. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. And Tuavelia ends the inning with the flourish of a strikeout. It is still 7-0 in favor of the Brewers going into the bottom of the eighth. Jason Hayward will lead off for the Cubs. It's the bottom of the eighth inning of a 7-0 ball game. And a 1-2 and two pitch from Peralta. And Hayward hits that one hard. That's going to go out to the wall in right center field. Hayward will have extra bases. He rounds first. He rounds second, and he's not stopping. He is going to slide into third with a leadoff triple. Jason Hayward leading off the bottom of the eighth inning for the Cubs with a triple. Nice piece of hitting right there. And that's going to be the end of the day for Freddie Peralta. We are now going to see a reliever for the Brewers. J.P. Fireson is going to come in. He's thrown 14 innings, 5 walks, 12 strikeouts, 386 ERA. And Nico Horner is going to be the batter for the Cubs. He's going to face Fryer. Fireson. I suppose that's how you pronounce it. Not Fryerson. Fireson, I think, is how you pronounce that name. So... Horner is going to face Fireason in the bottom of the eighth with a runner 90 feet away and nobody out. 2-0 count to Horner. Here's the pitch. Grounder to the opposite side. The second baseman has it. Throws to first. Hayward scores. And that is going to be out number one as the Cubs finally get on the board. It is 7-1 in the bottom of the eighth inning. Now nobody on base. One out. Santana the batter. One and two count. Here's the pitch. Santana watches strike three go by, and he heads back to the dugout. Two outs now for the Cubs, and Chris Bryant's going to be the batter. He steps in with one out, with two outs, one man on, one run in, nobody on base. I'll get this right yet. Bryant waiting for the one and two pitch. 
Here it comes. Grounder to third. Third baseman Sogard has it. Throws to first to end the inning. The Cubs score, but it's not quite enough as they still trail 7-1. to one. Top of the ninth inning now. Sammy T is going to continue to pitch. He will face Brock Holt as a pinch hitter for the pitcher's spot, leading off in the Milwaukee half of the ninth. Full count pitch from Sammy T. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a liner into right field. Hayward coming in, but he's going to play it on a hop, and that is going to be a leadoff single for Brock Holt. John Broxton now the batter. He comes up with nobody out, runner on first. 2-2 two, two count. And there is strike three swinging. Sammy T gets the strikeout for out number one in the ninth. And now Urias is the batter. One out, one man on. Urias. Urias waiting for the pitch from Sammy T. First pitch coming. Popped up to center. Bradley has a long run. He's coming in, and he makes the catch in short center field for out number two. Yelich now the batter. Two outs, one man on. Cubs trying to hold the Brewers at a six-run deficit. Full count pitch. And that is low and in, and it's ball four. So Holt heads down to second. Yelich goes to first on the free pass. And Logan Morrison is the batter. He is one for three with an RBI today. And he is coming up with two outs and two men on. One ball count. Logan Morrison knocks that one in right field. That's going to be a base hit. The runner rounds third. He is heading home. Hayward throws home. The throw is late, and the run scores. It is 8-1 Milwaukee. Morrison gets an RBI single to extend the Brewers' lead. And now Rosenthal comes in to pitch. He is going to face Garcia. Rosenthal on the season, 35 and a third innings thrown, 19 walks, 38 strikeouts, and a 2.29 ERA. He comes in trying to shut down the Brewers in the top of the ninth with two outs and two men on. The runners both inherited. Full count, payoff pitch with two outs. The runners are going to be going. And that is a walk. That is low and away for ball four. And Rosenthal lost him. So now that brings up Sogard, who is four for four today with two RBIs, facing Rosenthal with the bases loaded and two outs. Rosenthal with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's a liner past the first baseman into right field. One run is in. Second runner rounds third. He heads home. Hayward's throw comes home. It's late. The runner is safe at home. It is now 10 to 1 Milwaukee. Sogard is 5 for 5 today and 3 RBIs. Manny Pena now the batter. Brewers continue to pile on in the top of the ninth inning. Pena coming up with two outs, two men on. And Rosenthal induces the ground ball. Bryant fields, throws to second to get the lead runner. And that is the end of the inning. We go to the bottom of the ninth. It is 10 to 1, Milwaukee. Ray Black is going to come out to pitch for the Brewers. He's thrown 35 and two thirds, 18 walks, 47 strikeouts, and a 3.53 ERA. He'll face Ozuna, Contreras, and Bradley here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Black with a full count, working to Ozuna, and here's the pitch. Low and in, ball four. So Ozuna heads down to first with the walk. And Contreras comes up. Nobody out, runner on first. Contreras waiting for the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's the first out of the ninth inning for Ray Black. And now Bradley comes up to bat. Cubs fans have not had much to cheer for, not making a lot of noise here today. Bradley coming up with one out, one man on. Two ball count. And he hits a grounder to first. The pitcher covers, but Bradley hustles down the line and beats it out for an infield single. The pitcher, Black, was late covering the base, and Bradley is safe. So now there's first and second, one out, and Xander Bogarts is the batter. He's facing Black with a 2-2 count. And he swings and misses for strike three. That was a fast ball that was up, and Xander Bogarts... Heads back to the dugout, quite frustrated with that at bat. And now Tauschman 
is going to come up. He's going to be a pinch hitter from the left side against the righty black. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning, there are two outs and two men on. Cubs chances dwindling in this evening against the Brewers. And here is the first pitch, and Tauschman hits it on the ground to short. The throw goes to second, and the game is over. That's out number three. So the Brewers win this game 10-1. to They get 10 runs on 15 hits with no errors. Cubs get one run on six hits with no errors. The player of the game is the one and only Eric Sogard. He went five for five with two runs scored and four RBIs and single-handedly destroyed the Cubs in this game. Alec Mills suffers the loss. He drops to two and two. Four innings, six hits, five runs all earned, two walks and two strikeouts. Freddie Peralta improves to four and six with a seven inning, five hit, one run performance with one walk and six strikeouts. Well, thank you for listening to Replacement Player Baseball.